shows, you're probably... Praise the Lord with the sound of trumpet. It is. I greet you in the name of the risen one, the one who is amongst us still. Hallelujah. He's arisen in our lives this day. Welcome. Good morning. 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 So welcome one and all to Barhaven United Church. My name is Reverend Carla Van Dellen. And as I mentioned earlier, this is indeed a very special service here at Barhaven United This morning, we are marking an old Easter custom begun by the early Greek Christian churches called Bright Sunday or Holy Humor Sunday, which is celebrated on the Sunday after Easter. For centuries, at the beginning and sort of into the early Middle Ages, all Christian faith traditions the week following Easter Sunday, uh, the whole week was observed as faithful days filled of joy and laughter with parties and picnics to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Now, it kind of fell out of fashion because people took it a little bit too far, and you can Google it. But anyway, we're resurrecting the tradition. So this year, we decided to celebrate here at Barhaven United Holy Humor a little bit differently by holding the Holy Spirit Awards. This service is a fun way to give thanks for the various activities and volunteers that shape the shared ministry of this community. Today, we will celebrate our faith, our fellowship, and some of the ways that make this place a vibrant community, a place that makes an imprint in the lives of those that call Barhaven United home. It is not meant to exclude certain activities or some aspects of our shared ministry, For each one of you brings something special. You each have very unique gifts that make BUC what it is. We are all part of one family. So during the service today, children are involved and bear various aspects of the service, but we do have activity bags at the back, so if they want to bring those and come back to the pew, or there's also a table set up in the narthex if they wish to go out for a little while, that's perfectly fine. There's also a photo booth 
that's very glittery out there. So after the service, if you'd like to go and get your picture taken, uh, I think that would be a wonderful way to remember holy humor in the years to come. Um, now, I think I did hear earlier that some of the, the possible winners might be available to, uh, to uh, have their picture taken or for autographs, but apparently the, the lead villain who's going to win, I think they may have mentioned that there is a slight charge for their autograph. <laughs> yeah, you just never know. They could be paparazzi shy too, who knows. But anyway, so here we are. So let us enjoy, let us laugh, let us have fun, and remember that what we do, we do with, in, and through the light of God. So let us worship our resurrected and resurrecting God. Let us take a few moments of silence. boisterous today. The Easter spirit of renewal and freedom is upon us. We are reminded that you have given us muscles with which to smile and feet with which to dance. I wonder, when he walked on water and Peter tried to walk out to him and went down with a splash, did he laugh? I wonder, when he saw the children playing or the field lilies bobbing or the sparrows chirping, when he went to the wedding in Cana and saw the groom and his bride, did he join with the men in the dance? May we be more like Jesus. Resurrection life remade. Thank you, God. Thank you for Jesus, all he was and all he shared. Thank you for the Christ, alive with us and in us. Thank you for Loving us into new life. Bless us, we pray, as we hear the stories of Scripture this morning, as we prepare ourselves each day to be in our peace and church. And let us bless you, God most holy.
Let us pray. As we read your inspired words, words that have guided the lives of so many before us, may we hear your spirit fill words, fresh ears, and an open heart. Our first reading on this second Sunday of Easter continues the accounts of the events after the resurrection of Jesus. We begin with a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 32 to 35. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. Our second reading is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. And the Father has, as the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he, said, when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We've seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side. I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. For the truth which holds our living, for the truth that challenges and changes us, for the truth that sets us free. Thanks be to God.
So please have a seat. <laughs> so that last hymn that we just sang is one of the nominees up for best hymn or most beloved hymn of the year. So I'm so glad that we had a chance to sing it. Just a few words before the awards part of our presentation today gets underway. I just want to say thank you to one and all who took the time to vote. It was really nice going through them and, uh, and uh, tallying all the results. And also, I think maybe one of the most special parts was the special memories that people put at the very end that marked down on their ballot. And if you'll notice, now don't read it now, read it when you get home, but at the end of your bulletin, all the memories that people um, wrote down are included in today's bulletin um, at the very end. So you can read what other people thought that was important for them or had meaning for them, and they're really quite touching. During our awards segment, you may laugh, you may clap, or maybe with a certain villain, I don't know, maybe boo. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's up to you. It's all okay. Um, I also want to say, too, for, those, for the winners that will be coming up shortly, please don't make your speeches too long because the music will start and I'll just have to come up and escort you off the stage. So not too long, please. And I just wanted to... Uh, to just reflect just for a, a moment on, on what we heard. This is the Sunday when we hear the passage from, uh, about Thomas. And I just want to say, speaking from my own personal experience, we all come to our faith with doubts. And sometimes it's sort of up and down, there's peaks and valleys. But we all need to experience for ourselves resurrection. And that's what Thomas was doing whenever he encountered Jesus and needed to touch him, to really understand and to really believe that Jesus had risen. And just like Jesus and just like Thomas, we're all wounded in various ways. But we all somehow, through the Spirit, through Christ, find the courage to believe, to share our faith, even when the present or the future seems perhaps uncertain. So with our wounded, but with our joyful souls, let us worship our God with laughter. The awards are going to begin. Oh. Okay, so. All right. So we have the gentlemen that are going to be presenting the envelopes, and then we have our two presenters that are going to be presenting the trophies. So may, may I have the first envelope, please? Okay. Now, actually, for this one, uh, I'll, I'll read the nominees, and then you can announce who the winner is. All right. We don't have representatives from, you know, the awards academy that, you know, tallied everything. And, but really, who needs to hear from them anyway, really? So anyway, so our first award for today is a... Oh. <laughs> okay. Is award for best parable. So the nominees are the wedding at Cana, turning water into wine, the good Samaritan, the sower casting seeds and the prodigal son. So would you like to open the envelope? Oh, just wait. Let's say the, say the, the winner is. Oh, wait till the. Oh, now he doesn't play. The okay. winner is. The Good Samaritan. Ah. Oh. Okay. Can you. Here, here. Can you take this? Oh. Oh, the Good Samaritan is here to collect their award. Okay, you can just put it here. It's, it's been just bingo. No. Yeah, just put an award. Wow. Just put it down. Can right I? Oh, thank you very much. It's such a surprise. Oh. Such a surprise. Oh. I hadn't even really thought about what I was going to say, so I bought a piece of paper. Oh, that's good. Wow. Here we go. Oh. Here you go. 
So I brought this just in case I was going to be nominated. I didn't know, of course, you know. <laughs> I would like to thank those that voted for me. I would like to thank my agent or whoever told this story about me. I don't like to take the spotlight. I usually do what I think is right, but I don't expect anything in return. No pause for applause here. No, no oh. <laughs> oh my, this is so exciting. I have to dedicate this award to a man, to the man. I call him Joe, that I helped by the side of the road. Others had just passed him by without care. Also, to all those like Joe, the weak and marginalized, those that need a hand, and those that dare to reach out and do the right thing. This world would, not, would be a lot better off if more of us reached out and helped our fellow man and woman. I never thought that I, a Samaritan, someone from the wrong side of the desert, would be here today accepting an award like this. It just goes to show that if I can do it, so can you. So, Joe, wherever you are, this award is for you. Thanks to Jesus. Amen. Okay, uh, envelope, please. Okay, you're here to help too? Oh, no, don't go to winner first. We've got to do the nominees. That's okay. No, you're all good. You're all good. All right, so the second award is for most enjoyable social event. Wow. There was a lot nominated, let me tell you, but the four we have here, the nominees are Christmas Bazaar, Sandwich Lunch, Games Night, and Social Connections. So, would you like to open here? You can open the, oh, the winner is... Four-way tie. It's a four-way tie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Woo! So we have Marilyn Fisher collecting for the bazaar, Mavis Mason for the Sunwich Lunch, Cindy Atkinson and Miriam, Miriam Fitzgerald for Games Night, and Nancy Big Canoe for Social Connections. Woo! <laughs> So, here are two trophies, and you can hold a trophy, and we're going to have to get them to the right people. There we go. So, go. So, Sunwich Lunch goes to Mavis, the lady here in the, with the flowers. Here, so games night, that's games night. Oh, there's only one for that. There we go, games night. And the bazaar is from Maryland, right over here. There we go. Now, remember, ladies, not too long. Okay, we're going to sit down for a second. Well, thank you very much. It's wonderful to be part of a tie because it means everybody is very appropriately voted upon. Um, I just want to say I'm really glad that we got the sandwich lunch going again. It was Lily St. Marie, who is um, probably watching from a distance um, online today, who new to the church during the pandemic as we were getting going again. Um, she said, what are we going to do to get people connected? We, you know, coffee, don't you have coffee time? All, all that kind of talking. That brought some of the thoughts of what we used to do before the pandemic. So... We got the sandwich lunch going, and uh, thanks to her inspiration, thanks to her inspiration, we've had a number of people who've come forward new to the, to the church, as well as those who've been around for a long time who are very generous in their contributions of sandwiches on the last Sunday of the month. That's what we call sandwich lunch. And I just want to say thank you uh, to Leona and Debbie, um, who kind of inspire the people who are helping to pull this all together. Um, I'm kind of behind the scenes or try to stay there. And um, just want to say it's something we're going to keep going with uh, your support and your pleasure in hanging around and chatting with newcomers and, and those you know well. Thank you.
Hi. So on the other side of the pandemic, Cindy and I were your dedicated social committee, and the church was incredibly busy that time. at that time. And so one of the things that we were trying to think of was to how gather people together that weren't involved in anything else. So I would like to thank my family for not wanting to play as many board games or as often as I wanted to. So we, we, we would do it like once a month, every uh, Saturday night. We would provide the lemonade. People would bring their sna snacks to share. We'd have board games. And I ended up going and buying a few board games for home or different card games. Um, it was a lot of fun. Sometimes we had whole families. We had some nights we had 30, sometimes we had four, but there was fun no matter how many of us showed up. And great news, Sharon Hurd is starting to organize a games night again, and it's this coming Friday at 7, so bring your snacks and your games. If you don't have any games, come anyway, there'll be plenty to play. Goodness, I'm just so thrilled. <laughs> I want to accept this wonderful award on behalf of Pastoral Care Team. After years of COVID and the separation that it's caused a church, sitting six feet apart, wearing masks, and not being able to shake hands and give a hug, it was a pleasure to get together, to share a cup of coffee, eat some yummy muffins, and play some silly games. And basically to reconnect with one another. So come tomorrow to the last social connection event for this season and share a cup of coffee and just enjoy each other's company. Thank you. And as Nancy said, this is so thrilling and unexpected, but it takes a team to start a, to get a bazaar going. And the, um, the last bazaar was before COVID and Debbie and myself were the conveners. And uh, it just takes one person or a couple. It's a fun time, busy, but it is fun. And it's a super, super, fundraiser. Now, if you're wondering, oh, it's a lot of work. Gord, who he and Leona were the year before us, Gord very nicely did up a folder of all that's involved with preparing for a bazaar. So the instructions are there. All you have to do is read them and follow them and say, it is fun and it is a great fundraiser. So if you have any thoughts, please think about it. And again, thank you ever so much. <clears throat> OK, so award number three. Can you pass me the envelope, Erin? Yep, that one right there. All right. So I'm going to ask you to read this out. So this one is for the most charismatic puppet. So can you read out the nominees? Thumper the rabbit, Screech the owl, Bananas the chipmunk. Oh, the chimp. The chimp. Oh, the chimp. <laughs> and Coco the dog. Okay. And then the winner is... Oh, you want to do? Okay, she can do this. It'll be easier. Thumper the rabbit. Oh, Thump again? Thumper the rabbit. Okay. Woo! Do you want to grab the, the award? Here. And, uh, yeah. Mickey. Oh, I'll come to you. Oh, I think we have a shy celebrity here. So, um, I... I so I see, Michaela, you brought uh, Thumper, and you brought a friend, too. Oh, here's your award. Is there anything you'd like to say, or Thumper would like to say? I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> oh that's wonderful. Oh, and, and what does... And, Ooh. 
would have thought? Oh, who? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Ah, very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Oh, we're almost halfway through. Uh, number four, please. Yeah, that one right there. Oh, okay. So you can read this one. The award for the most memorable social justice event. And the nominees are Black History Month, White gift chaplaincies, chaplaincies, yeah, Ch sorry, yeah, uh, multi-faith housing uh, initiative and refugee ini um, ini initiative. Initiative, yes. Very good, very good. Okay. There we go. And uh, and do you want to open it? Sure. The winner is. The white gift. Oh, let's see. You can read it. The white gift, Trish Barlow. Woo! Oh, Woo! oh, it's a. <laughs> Oh, you know, this happens at the Academy Wars all the time. There's actually two winners. So there's a tie. No, 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 that's okay. So white gift chaplaincies and refugees. And the refugees. Perfect. So for white gift, Trish Barlow's accepting, and to the refugee committee, Elspeth McEwen. Okay, do you want to give out the trophies? Here, you will give her. Here. Do you want to help? You want to help? Okay, sorry. Jeez. Holy Sprite? I don't know. What's Holy Sprite? Uh, oh, yeah, this is refugees. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow, thanks very much for this honor. honor and I'd like to uh, really honor the important work of our community partners. Um, uh, I'd like to lift up the congregation for all the support that they give, not just on Warm Gift Sunday this past year, but throughout the year in, in their support to all our partners. And last but not least, I'd really like to uh, do a shout out to the youth of the congregation who really engaged this year in the uh, Warm Gift Sunday. Uh, they created a, a beautiful bulletin board. They participated in the service doing readings and lighting the candles. And, and they also collected all the gifts that people so generously gave. So for all of that, I'd like to thank everyone. I don't get out much. <laughs> and um, I'm really overwhelmed here. Um, but I was really hoping that there would be some Holy Sprite in this for me, and I don't see it. I'm very sorry to see that. I did, I did wear my, my tie, because I thought there might be a tie. And um, it, has, it has chains on it. Because, you know, chains are about solidarity. And the thing about refugees is... They're a team that really pulled together, except why am I the only one here today from this group? <laughs> and I'm the newest one. Anyway, um, I could go on, but I, I think the next best thing is coming up is guess who's coming to dinner. So I hope all of you decide to come out and um, enjoy. And I'm also so grateful for our Good Samaritan my brother. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, this one is one of the highlights of, uh, of, the, of the time, I think, here. So um, I'll get here. You can read them out. How's that? So what's, what's this one? Favorite villain. Oh. The nominees, yeah. Oh, that's a nominees. Big one. Um, Go ahead. That's okay. So Satan. Satan. King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar. Yeah. Judas, and the snake. Oh, and here, do you want to open and see who the who the winner is? Do you want to open it? Do you want to open it, Michaela? Do you want to open it? Okay. 
Oh, they're all afraid. They don't want to find out. Yeah. Villains are scary. Oh, my goodness. The winner is Judas. Oh, Judas. Oh. All right. Oh, can you give this award to Judas? Boo. Okay. We'll put it down here. Okay, have a seat, okay? Boo. We'll have a seat. I really don't know what to say, but I am certainly glad that it was presented to me during the televised portion of the show. <laughs> First of all, I don't know if I deserve the award for best villain. The other actors in this category are far worse than I ever was. But I suppose I deserve this award for what I did, but it was a long time ago. My actions have haunted me ever since that night in the garden. It became the kiss known round the world. As you know, my acting career was cut short. I have never acted since that one night performance. On second thought, I would like to dedicate this to my best friend forever, the one that made this award possible. Without him, nobody would know my name, and I wouldn't be standing here this morning. I dedicate this award to Jesus Christ. Thank you, JC. You are the man. I was one of the last four disciples you chose. You knew I was a thief, a real badass. So you made me the treasurer of the group. Until I betrayed you, I was a nobody. You made me famous. My name is now associated with being a traitor. Thank you for my big break. I'm sorry, really sorry about the part I, I played in your death. To my fellow nominees, I just want you to say that forgiveness is never too late. Just ask and you shall receive. And who knows, you may be standing here next year. Peace. Okay, I'll, okay. So, okay, so I'll read this one because it's a little bit, okay? So this one is, sorry, I don't need the mic, uh, award for the best Bar Haven United Church Book Club selection. Oh, so the nominees are Wanderers by Chuck Wendig, Permanent Astonishment by Thompson Highway, Fresh Water for Flowers by Valerie Perrin, and Greenwood by Michael Christie. And the winner is, I want to open it? <laughs> According, oh, permanent astonishment. Permanent astonishment by Thompson Highway, Diane Lytle. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Okay. And do you want And Diane, oh, is accepting. So here we go. And you want to give her? Thank you very much. Um, this book won the Hillary Weston prize for nonfiction, plus a number of other, of other citations, but this has to be the most prestigious, at least two votes that I can figure. <laughs> it is a memoir by Thompson Highway, and he's a playwright, an author, and a classical musician, and he was, his, it chronicles the first 15 years of his life in northern Manitoba with his Cree family in a nomad life of going from camp to camp, fishing camp, and, um, and in the winter by dog sled. Um, then he, uh, the second part of the book is his life at residential school, going to residential school by bush plane, 
and as a young boy of six, starting to go there. Um, the title, Permanent Astonishment, is what he felt when he was in the plane going home for his summer vacations, looking down at the landscape. Um, so we, it's the first 15 years, so we have to wait for the next 15 years. So this is an invitation to join us at the book club. Um, the information is in life and work. So great books and interesting discussions. And then I was thinking, interesting books and great discussions, or interesting books and interesting discussions, or great books and great discussions. Take your pick. Thank you. Okay. So, would you like to read them? You, you, can, you can read the winner. How's that? Okay. Do you want to do this one? Uh, award for the best choir anthem. <laughs> and the nominees are Christmas Cantata, Circle of Song, Fairest Lord Jesus, On That Great Morning, and You Raise Me Up. Do you want to open it? Yep. Finest Lord Jesus. Fairest Lord Jesus. Oh. So Fairest Lord Jesus is the winner. Oh. Woo! Okay, you want to get that? <laughs> I, uh, the composer couldn't be here today, so I'm <laughs> accepting on their behalf. Just wanted to thank the congregation for your votes and for, you know, putting us up here today. Um, this is quite an honor. And what I would like to do actually is bring attention to our extremely talented pianist and our extremely talented choir director who couldn't be here today. But without the two of them, we wouldn't have very many favorites. So thank you very much. All right, we're down to the last two. All right, do you want to read this one out? Award for favorite hymn. The nominees are... Come in. Come in, come in, and sit down. I feel the winds of God today. She flies on. Here I am, Lord. And in the bulb, there is a flower. All right. And the winner is, do you want to open it? Okay. Here I am, Lord. Oh! I'm the Lord. I'm the Lord. Of sea and sky. And oh, of sea and sky. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what an honor this is. I will be accepting this on behalf of the composer and their God-given talents. And I will also accept this in honor of all those that work to prepare the music and plan the music for worship and perform the music. And uh, also congrats on the Ferris Lord Jesus win as well. <laughs> so thank you very much. All righty. So we are down to our last award. 
Oh, are you, are you gonna, okay, do you wanna read them out? Sure. So, okay. okay. Okay, so nine awards for best prophet nominations. Ooh. Isaiah, Moses, John the Baptist, Thomas, and Daniel. Oh, okay. Do you wanna, oh, okay. Okay, there we go. The winner is John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Oh, oh, there we go. Go, yeah. And John, John couldn't be here today, so his agent is here to pick up the I award. I am not John, but I am John's agent, and I'm here to accept this award on his behalf. John couldn't be here today because he knew... Judas was probably going to be here. There's still some bad blood between them. As many of you know, John has suffered from neck pain for a long time and is currently at his chiropractor. It could be that his diet of locusts and honey has finally caught up with him. Now let's see. He would like to thank his agent, it's me, for standing beside him for all these years his mother and father who had him late in life, and for Birkenstocks, which are now f keeping his feet comfortable after all those, all those years of walking down roads to make them straight. He would, also like to keep, he would also like you to keep an eye open for his upcoming reality series called Succession the Chosen One. This new show will give you a behind-the-scenes look at what it was like to be a part of the great JC family empire, only on HBO Canada. God bless. Okay, once again, I'd just like to say thank you to all the people that took their time to vote, for all the people that helped out today. And um, also all of the people that in different categories that were nominated. Um, truly, everyone is a winner this day and every day in Christ. And uh, once again, um, after the service, there will be uh, photos taken. But once again, some may be charging a fee. So um, this next hymn is a real side splitter. Ha, ha, ha. Um, Anyway, so the choir is going to start, but all of the words are up on the screen. So whenever you like and feel called, start right in with it. So here we go. <laughs> Ha 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 
walked in star. He touched the arm of Lazarus and brought him from the dead. And this is what Lazarus probably said. <laughs> God has blessed each of us so much, so let us give our thanks through our gifts. Local offerings support the ministries of the church to bless our local community, and gifts to the Mission and Service Fund bless um, many people across Canada and around the world. Donations can be made at the back of the sanctuary in the plates, and right now we will bring one plate forward to be blessed, but you can make an offering at the end if you wish. So let us hold Gently, whatever we're offering this day, and then offer to God in song and in prayer. Let us pray together. We believe that everything shall be made new again. We believe that your kingdom will come. We believe that you are not waiting, but that your great work has begun. Let our offerings, our generosity, and our commitment to be part of the remaking of your world in your image. Amen. Knock, knock. Let us. Let us pray. Oh, it's a groaner. Let us pray. O oh Lord, giver of joy and laughter, we thank you for giving us these gifts. For the moments of laughter and unbridled joy you give to us. For opportunities to laugh at ourselves. For the belly laughs of children 
for friends and family who love us because of our quirks and not just in spite of them, for artists who give us the opportunity to see the world through the surreal, for the courage to smile even when difficulties arise, for those who have hope even when others think there is no hope, for saints in the Lord who overflow with laughter and spread your joy to all of us. For the words of Jesus that, that, that defy our logical minds. For teaching us that we can be born again. For the woman who finds a lost coin and calls her friends and neighbors to celebrate. For the absurdity of a camel trying to fit through the eye of a needle. For the father of the prodigal son who is willing to look like a fool as he runs out to greet his son. For the generosity of the landowners who will pay workers a full day's wage when they only worked an hour. For tiny bits of faith that can move entire mountains. For the reality that nothing can live unless it first dies. For the great reversal of the gospel that the last shall be made first, that the rejected stone become the cornerstone, that those who wish to become great must serve, that the lost will be found, that the small will become great. And through your wisdom, you chose to love and to heal us into wholeness, that when we are weak, your strength shines through us. O oh Lord, giver of joy and laughter, we thank you for giving us all of these gifts. Now help us to bring your healing laughter and calming presence to those who need to experience you this day. And so we name them in our heart. Thank you for the gift you give us that allows us to enjoy all of the small little things in life to the fullest. We can laugh because of the most amazing thing of all, that you conquered death, that the tomb is empty, that light shone so brightly that it overcame the darkness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Abba God. And so we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever Amen. And so we go out with dancing, with joy, and with laughter. Our closing hymn is, I Danced in the Morning.
please join me in our commissioning and benediction. Lord, grant me a joyful heart and a holy sense of humor. Please give me the gift of faith to be renewed and shared with others each day. Teach me to live this moment only, looking neither to the past with regret nor to the future with apprehension. Let love be my guide and my life in prayer. Go in laughter, go in grace, keep the Lord in your heart and a smile on your face. And let the people say, Amen. Amen. Yeah.